Well, look who's coming to visit me here today. Welcome <laughs> to Bullwark Tusk. Yeah. yeah, me and Cash were just checking out the trucks. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember from the blogs, but both of these trucks have graced the halls of SEMA, and I mean that. They've graced the halls and enhanced SEMA. Outstanding work, dude. These trucks are, they're world-class customs. Yeah, and I've enjoyed having them back. Most of the time, the, the bill goes so fast, and you work and get to SEMA, and then they go home, and you don't see them again. Well, I'm fortunate to, to maintenance them and take care of them forever, so... They're here to I'm changing the oil, changing the plugs, and uh, just miscellaneous stuff. Yeah. TMI on them. Yeah. You guys need a closer look. Hang on. This is live Handicam. Okay. You're going to see the, the detail of this truck. Now, keep in mind, this is about four years old, right, TC? Yep. Okay. The paint has not shrunk. I'm not seeing scratch swelling. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this looks like the day it was cut and buffed. It looks like exactly like it was on the floor of SEMA and and so does this one the 55 Ford with the radical chop top I mean you can't that's the testimony that's how you tell when somebody knows what the heck they're doing when it doesn't shrink back I mean you can slam it together and you can mash on a bunch of product but if it stands the test of time and holds up over time that shows that this cat knows what he's doing so, congratulations, well, man. And I'm married to him forever, so uh, I've got to do it as, as well as possible. Yeah. Now, this one's done ripped the axle out of it. Uh oh. Uh, second gear <laughs> GM. GM wonder why. Hey, pop that hood. And I've been driving it around a little bit, and it is really a handful to drive. Now, I'm thinking about taking this to DVR and let them do a little bit more tuning on it, but uh, it is really, really aggressive. That's well, good time this again, this looks as good as it did on the floor at SEMA. It's a radical custom, beautiful proportioning job on the top. It's a difficult top to chop because you got to pie cut and remake everything. But it's crazy, man. It's, it's a beautiful truck. And, and again, it's holding up. The, uh, the work that you do is outstanding. It just is. Let's, well, let's, let's see what else is going on. All right, let's go look at the Jaguar. So what do you think about this one? Uh, these cars, this has been one of my favorite cars my whole adult life, even as a kid. These are beautiful. And you are doing an outstanding job with this. This is gorgeous, man. It's been a lot of work. Just like in Solomon's windshield, every piece you see has had to be addressed. I had to find it, have it chromed, have it fit, and uh, just a, one of the most delicate cars I've ever worked on because every piece is so tedious. Well, every detail has been covered on this thing. You're doing a great job of it. Your panel fit is awesome. Uh, and this is what? This is a, a half million dollar car, isn't it? Yeah, one sold uh, about last year for $320,000. But this is a 65 E-type Roadster it has a hard top, soft top, 4.2, the glassed in lights. It's all the goodies for a Jaguar enthusiast. And this is a restoration, right? This is not a custom job. There's nothing different than what the factory did, right? Exactly. And I've got tons of books in that cabinet behind you. And I can just go through picture after picture to try to get every piece exactly the way it was when this car was new. This car only has 33,000 actual miles on it. Wow. So I sent all the gauges back to England and had them, the original gauges done back to the original miles uh, just the way they were. Wow. And that steering wheel, it, it's a perfect steering wheel. I bet there's no cracks on it or anything. I bet that sucker is worth some money, isn't it? Yep, and that's the original one. Wow. The original steering wheel. This is beautiful. So you're, you're counting down. You're on the home stretch with this, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting, getting close. Get our top done and a few more little Mickey Mouse stuff and then we'll start yeah. Uh, running it, driving it, and turning the carburetor and stuff. Yeah. You know who called this the most beautiful car ever designed? Enzo Ferrari. Oh, really? He was so jealous of these cars. That's a quote. Oh, that's most awesome. Beautiful car ever designed. Pull that, uh, lean that hood up and we'll show on the engine bay. Wow, that's like butter. Yeah, it's balanced very well, isn't it? Wow. And all your fit, all your, your attention to detail with all the CAD coatings and the uh, and the valley there, and this, oh gosh, man, the porcelain uh, exhaust manifolds. and Yep, and keep in mind, this was taken apart years ago, sold twice in buckets, and every nut, every bolt you see was rusted and destroyed. So every nut, every bolt, every piece had to be there, zinc coated, painted, plated, blasted, chromed <laughs> in every way. Wow, beautiful, beautiful work. And again, your, your stitching and the upholstery on the inside, all the switches, it looks like an aircraft cockpit. It's its just just beautiful, man. It's just nice to see a faithful reproduction and a restoration. It's hard to do when you're so used to cut and shove to fit. And then this way, uh, it's just down to every little nut and bolt. Yeah, it's a different mindset, a different philosophy, isn't it? Totally. Yeah. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> 
I bet you wish you've been here a couple of times. This thing is, is, is actually really, really turning out. I, I knew it would turn out great, but, but it's really cool how you're engineering the old and the new together. Yeah, and it's working out so well, uh, the location of everything. You can see how close the plenum is to the firewall, yeah, yeah. and then the location of the tires and the, the tailgate, that was just a huge feat. But your hood profile, if you're going to clear the intake manifold and all the all the throttle body and inlets, all that stuff's going to fit great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, down. it's about one inch from the top of the hood. So yeah. this this really dictated my location, my floor. I tried to get this down as low as possible, yeah. but I, my hood started getting close to the engine, yeah. and uh, that's what, what stopped me right there. But and now I'm working on shoehorning in these inner fenders. I'm going to use as much of the woody as possible yeah. and, uh, and just blend it all together. Yeah, outstanding. Even your ABS module here, the, they used to call these the brain pack for the ABS stuff. That's going to be nice and hidden. And uh, it, like I said, a good blend of, of uh, old and new. Very cool stuff. You see we got our Vornado. That's a <laughs> 1950 model air conditioning unit. And uh, we're fixed to take all the guts out of it and scoot it back into the uh, original uh, Explorer air conditioning unit. But if you haven't been watching the vlogs, or if you have been watching the vlogs, you know the attention to detail is going into into uh, fitting these wood sides. And I've never even worked on one of these cars, a Woody or even a like a town and country or, or anything like that. Uh, and it is kind of a cool learning curve to follow the Bay One vlog and figure out how these are retrofit. The car has to fit the wood. Because you can't tweak and twist the wood. You can bend metal, but you can't bend wood, or at least it takes a long time. So uh, it's just really neat to learn along with you, uh, TC, on how to, how to make all this stuff work. And it, it looks great. Yep. All right, now let's go check out the, uh, the Bronco. This is Nathaniel Moon's Bronco. We met him in SEMA last year. Yeah. Out in the parking lot of the Igniter Party. <laughs> yep. Very cool. And I've never ever seen one of these before. I did a television show called Trucks for almost 10 years, and I've never seen one of these. I heard about them, but I never saw a four-door Bronco. I've seen the quad cab uh, dually pickups or the, or the, the F-350 pickups, but never the, uh, never the four-door Bronco. This is a factory vehicle, right? Yep, factory vehicle, and we got the frame out front being blasted right now as we speak. Yep, and it's getting a giant Cummins engine, correct? Yep, 5.9 Cummins engine. Yep. Uh, it's over here in the back and uh, an Allison 1000 transmission uh, going to be raised up 8, 6, 8, 10 inches uh, not sure on the height of that yet 39 inch tires, 1 ton axles so. Well you picked the right vehicle in my opinion the 78 and 79 Ford F-Series trucks are some of the best looking Fords ever produced other than you know some of the early 60s stuff I really like particularly and of course the tri -fives. but this truck looks modern it looks cool uh, it, it, and I think, I, you know what it is? I had a girlfriend in high school, and her dad had, it was a 79, it had the, the 400, uh, and, and she had... Uh, it's just, it, it, it holds a, a soft place in my heart. Um, be, I, I just love them, and... and uh, this thing's going to be so drivable with that Cummins, he's going to be able to pull the, pull the next town down the street. It's cool. That's right. Now, the reason for you being here today yes. is our SEMA project. Yes. Down to <laughs> 70 days once again. I know, I know. I, I, I swore. I told TC this in January. I said, I'm not going to do it to you again. We're not getting there. We're not going to be six weeks out with a SEMA thrash. Um, but here we are again. So um, thank God for TC Pettick and Bay One Customs. And... <laughs> Zed Sled, uh, uh, it, Hell or High Water is going to be out there. It leaves on the trailer October 25th, and it's going to be out at SEMA Show 2016, and we'll, we'll give you updates along the way. All right, well, let's go check it out. Yep, cool. Okay, it's on. SEMA Project. Zed Sled version 2 twin turbo. Yeah, yeah we've got about eight weeks to finish this thing. Uh, it's leaving, what, October 25th? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, October 25th, and... Uh, um, let me show you something. I don't know how you get to do this mess. We've got parts everywhere. We still got to do a bunch of paint work. Look what a beautiful job TC did of header wrapping the trick flow up and forward headers with Heat Shield Products Lava Wrap. It's going to be awesome. Check us out at the Heat Shield Products booth. Wink. Yeah, there's no telling what this thing's going to do. This should be about 800 horsepower, somewhere around six, 700 horse to the rear wheels. Uh, Twin turbo LS with a 6.0.
Yeah, built for LADE transmission. Um, uh, it's uh, Pro Touring F body suspension, Willwood brakes all the way around. It's a hybrid, beefed up, super strong 10 volt rear axle. Um, it's it's built it's built for speed, man. Yeah, once you have a good time in Vegas after the show, we'll ride through Vegas and go to Igniter Party and yeah. maybe go to the Corvette Test Track for this time. Uh, absolutely, yeah, we're going to do some driver training in this car. It's, it's set up for Pro Touring. It's what it was last time, affordable Pro Touring. But we took the affordable out of it and spent some money on some really good components. It's going to be really, really strong. Yeah, so uh, now we can just get to work because there's a lot to do in the next few days. So uh, yeah, let's get to work. Yeah, yeah, there's, uh, let's see, finishing off the cooling. Got to finish off the, the, the heater plumbing, the headers. Um, got to get the brakes plumbed, all that stuff rewired. There's uh, there's some paint work to do. There's a bunch of other stuff that's got to happen. Okay. Okay. Here's our rendering of what we're going to do in the next eight weeks. Uh, lots to do on the order. So uh, it's really time to get to work. It's really crunch time. And uh, this is what it looks like now. Bam.